I'm still on chapter 9. After the death of Colvin, Pierce, victim of hallucinations, advanced inside the Riverside Institute to point of the discovery, discovering Sarah Hawkins alive, prisoner of Dr. Fuller. Now, the last confrontation between Charles Hawkins and his wife has revealed that the man under his monstrous appearance tried to protect her from the influence of the myth. He warned Pierce. If Sarah succumbs to the lore of the occult, she will lose all free will, allowing the cult to bring its plan to the... Damn, dude. So let's just kill her. In the story. No parent should have to bury their child, knowing it's me that put him there. The guilt, the guilt will never go away. I feel your pain. I'll do anything to get him back. Anything. Oh, shit. My work was what lured me here in the first place. It began showing me things. Things Charles should never have seen. What am I to you? <clears throat> I took care of you, saved you from your miserable life. You'll never find a man better than me. You owe me. I owe you nothing. We'll leave now. And that's how their son died. And the caretaker could only save her because he was already engulfed in flames. Damn, dude. It's over now. It's never over, my homie. Dude, Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Dude, this cop. How are you, Bradley? Ah, it's you, Pierce. I'm just worried about Marie. I mean, Dr. Colden. Have you had any news? Oh, God, dude. I think we should tell him the truth, to be honest. I'm so sorry. Bradley, I could do nothing to save her. What do you mean? What happened? I'm not sure what happened. But I found her body in the cellars of Riverside. You... You sure that you've got nothing to do with it? If she hadn't tried to help you, she might still be alive. I'm sorry. Truly. It's that slug, Fuller. I swear I'll shoot him. What do you say, Pierce? Are you with me? Um... Dude, what the fuck is that? Valid SAN requirements? 
it is not for us to full up. <coughs> His grief clouds this judgment. That's what I think it is. But Fuller, Fuller did have something to do with her death. But I understand your feelings, Bradley. But I don't think that you're in the right state to make such a decision. He killed a Pierce. I can't do nothing. Faced with this situation. Fuller's crimes won't go unpunished, I give you my word. But for now, you must keep a cool head. Yeah. We must do something for those who are still alive, Bradley. Mm -hmm. Sarah is still in danger as long as the cult is active. We need to see this through, otherwise Marie's death will have been in vain. You're, uh, the voice of reason, Pierce. As always. Don't tell me this is actually going to change my... My decision in the end. I don't know, we'll see. Mr. Pierce, we were waiting for you. Good. Sarah doesn't have much time. What are you doing here? <laughs> Did you think I would let you confront the occult without supervision? This is too dangerous for a bookworm like you. Algernon, I need to talk to Mr. Pierce. Very well, Sarah. I will be in Charles Hawkins' office. You seem different. Yes. When I woke up this morning, my mind was sharper. Cleaner. I can still hear the voice calling me. It is so strong. So ancient. Enticing. Dangerous. I may never be able to escape his grip, but for now, I can keep it at bay. I know what I owe you, Mr. Pierce. But I can't come back to Boston with you. I think I want to do this. You've been friends for a long time, hiding each other's secrets. I trust him. What are you planning to do? I must find it and kill it. I am the only one who can end its slaughter. No. No, you will come with me to Boston. I owe you no obedience. This isn't about what you want or don't want to do. You would risk destroying the world just because you can't face the consequences of your actions. I am willing to atone for my sins. No. You're just trying to erase all proof of the mistakes you've made. I know what I have done. I will not rest until the creature is sent back to its dimension. There must be a way to fight it. You've recovered from yesterday's condition. That must mean you can fight it. We must find something that will stop you from relapsing. Algernon knows of a way to protect me. Help him find what he seeks, and we may all survive this battle. All right. I'll help you. I think it's the pendant. I think it's the pendant. Is it this way? No, it's upstairs. Yeah, I literally think it's the pendant. Here? Was Sarah Hawkins telling the truth? I don't know she is, to be honest. Maybe she is underneath the control of everything going on. What kind of ritual was she preparing? Was the painting of the Shambler displayed here? Yeah, you see. Mrs. Hawkins never told me why she was in possession of the Necronomicon. How did she survive her encounter with the Shambler? Knowing Mrs. Hawkins, I bet she was willing to fight. I don't know about that, dude. Did Charles Hawkins break the lock to enter? I 
I don't know. To be honest, the failed incantation. I don't know, dude. It seems like whatever she was trying to do was. to be like why she actually tried to summon the creature dude I want to re-question her and ask her what the Jesus no, I don't want to drink. <sighs> when I have a clear head. <clears throat> okay, this has to be. Yeah. Seeing you again. Ah, it's you. I'm here for her, not you. I don't care why you're here. Your usefulness is the only thing that matters. How do we protect Mrs. Hawkins from the influence of the forces that claim her? By following Charles Hawkins, that imbecile of a thief, of course. What do you mean? He found something, an amulet. The symbol engraved on it could protect Sarah. Could? We are dealing with forces that by far surpass what your intellect can process. Feel free to ask me any question regarding the matters that exceed your grasp. A genius like you must have already found a way to get rid of this creature, yes? I sense your sarcasm, but it does happen that, yes, I do have a solution. I think I can destroy it. But for that, I must approach the creature. And to be able to do so, I need the key to Rie. Another one of your baubles. It is no bauble, unbeliever. It is a very powerful protection, able to repel very ancient forces, much more effective than your cult. What does it look like? It is a golden amulet, bearing very ancient inscriptions and an elder sign at its center. A star with an eye in the middle. I've already seen that sign. Where can we find it? Therein lies the problem. That foul thief Charles has hidden it somewhere. I found this drawing among his personal effects. I think that it has something to do with the location of the amulet. I'll follow this lead. You continue searching. That is what I intend to do. As for you, return here the second you find it. I don't want it to disappear again. Okay, so... Alright, clues... A sketch... Wait... This is an artifact... Artifacts. Dude, I think this is a caretaker. See, I want to know why. I think it might be over here. In the paintings.
Aha. feeling that it's just gonna be right there okay this has to be on a desk a skull on top. Right here. Is it in the box? Oh, this sh is the amulet that Drake was looking for. Places High Priest. Dude, what the fuck? Okay, the case. I think this is where we die. <coughs> Donna, we'll find out. It just gave me a glimpse of the future. Ah, it's you again. I think I've found what we're looking for. Let me see that. Yes, that's it. It's perfect. We are saved. I must tell Mrs. Hawkins. Yes, do that. Ah, uh, it's you again. That's all I wanted to know. All in good time. Dude, why doesn't he tell him? About that glimpse that he just had. I'm guessing a glimpse of the future or some shit. Oh, shit. I have it. It's a strange amulet. I hope it will protect you, considering that nothing will help you change your mind. You must understand. I already went too far. 
What have you seen that's so terrible you convinced yourself that you had to risk so much? I can't tell you now. This story is going to end badly. Yes, Chief West is here with Sullivan. Bradley, you take care of Sarah. I will deal with them. You sure? All right. I've been hearing about you a lot lately. You seem to enjoy causing trouble. Nice job, Chief. You got me. Great police work. You can try to play smart with me all you want, Pierce. Witnesses have identified you as the one who set fire to Riverside. Witnesses? How convenient. <coughs> That's not the whole story, is it? I don't care about your stories. Save them for the judge. You know, us cops, we base our investigation on facts and testimonies. You might want to try that next time. You bet I 